All right, come on in. Hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 Apple Plus war action film called Napoleon. And this was in for a while in the uh, uh, theaters too as well. But it's an Apple Plus original. Now here's a plot. A look at the military commander's origin and his swift, ruthless climb to empire, viewed through his prism of his addictive and often volatile relationship with his wife and one true love, Josephine. Now here is the gas. To be honest, after watching this, I don't believe Mr. Phoenix was the best choice for this at all. He's a great method actor. That can be his downfall or good fall with any method actor, to be fair. But his portrayal, I couldn't take seriously at all. He played a goofball child that felt so awkward and out of place, it threw off the feel of the film. Ridley Scott directed this, and hearing that name for some reason made me think this was going to be a serious history action flick. Instead, we got a light comedy with action history in it, and at plenty of times, over-the-top gore and places really not needed. And I would argue the nudity as well. Um, I have no problem with nudity. Uh, it's, it's the beauty of the art of the human body. Um, and, but there's a time and place, and there's a perfect way of, of doing it, the same thing with gore. I have no problem with gore, but there is a point where if it's so out of place or if it's just, just put in there for just some no reason at all, then it comes a problem with it and it stands out. Uh, and then there's the ones that overdo it, like uh, Quentin Tarantino, but, you know, I like his because he's just kind of a, a purposely comical. Um, they randomly kill a horse, for example, with a cannonball. And then it's not that I have a problem with the animal, CGI animal being killed. Okay, because I know it's fake, and it's not hate towards any of you guys that have a problem with it, I understand. But I'm just used to it, personally. It's how and why they do it is the problem. And then there was the two different scene transitions that happened too often and other throughout of the story with the fade out right, bright white light junk twister, along with it feeling like it was just rushed. Now here is my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. This was a huge no for me. Mr. Phoenix's performance and really Scott's directing took away from the story so much, I couldn't even get into the story at all. I definitely, it's, it's like saying I was bored is one thing, but it's just like, I wanted to get into this. I had high hopes for this. Um, and it, it's just another Apple TV flick that uh, I just do not like. From, in my opinion, I have said this a couple of times when reviewing these over the years, Apple Plus's films are not anywhere as great quality as, as writing as their TV shows. Their shows, I, they haven't missed. Their movies, most of the time, they have not been good or they've been just okay. Um, I think I like one or two of them, but that's about it. So, But, you know, this is all my opinion, and I'm very curious about your opinion down below. Let me know. Uh, what your thoughts are in general, even. Um, so I'm going to try my best to get an early, early start on Midnight Mass 2021 series. Um, and uh, well, I'll, I'll get to you when I can get to you with the review for that. Um, but uh, yeah, in the meantime, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.